Hey YouTube, it's uh, Ben here with the uh, 60 gallon cichlid tank and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, test and test results testing your water, something you all know is very important and uh, today what I'm going to be doing is a, doing a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, tank and tap tests using um, an API master kit and also using some uh, some test strips from Tetra and we'll see what kind of results we can get and before getting into that I just want to do a quick little shout out to uh, Jay Wilson Jay Wilson uh, recently had a 10k uh, subs contest 10k giveaway and uh, I was one of the lucky winners and I want to thank him for uh, for including me in that and uh, sending out these uh, a, a prize uh, to me. If you notice on the outputs of my uh, two Sun Sun 302 filters, those outputs now are working to create surface agitation. Uh, both of them are doing that. You can see that one there with the glare. Kind of cool. It's kind of like a Disneyland exhibit. You could uh, almost imagine it's a small world after all playing in the background. And I also have these two little uh, wave maker units on the side that more or less do the same thing and also create some beneficial bacteria with some sponge filters that are hanging on the side there. And uh, I'm using them sideways because I wanted them to break up the surface. Usually the sponges would be facing down, but I uh, did a little modification on them and I turned the little uh, plastic piece so that it gives us some uh, agitation. You see how that works there? Very, very nice. So thank you, Jay Wilson, for that. And uh, for those of you who follow my videos, you know how uh, I became a surface agitation fanatic. I took the 1,600 gallons uh, per hour dual uh, head uh, uh, power head, and uh, I retired it. I love that power head, especially with its magnetic mount, and I'll be using two of those uh, when I upgrade either to a 125 or a 180. I'll put two of those in there. That power head is awesome. It's a Sun Sun magnetic mount, 1600 gallons per hour power head. That one will go into uh, the next uh, bigger aquarium that I set up. So um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the uh, tests and the test results that I was able to get. Uh, using uh, an API versus uh, strips. Let's see how they compare. Let's take a look at uh, what kind of tap water I'm getting. A little otter point there. Young otter point coloring up nicely. Alrighty. And uh, by the way, congratulations to the Dodgers on uh, sewing up National League West. And congratulations to Vin Scully for 67 years. I grew up down the street from Dodger Stadium. He uh, he was uh, the voice of summer for me for uh, my entire life, actually. Thank you, Vin Scully, for an amazing, amazing run. 60, 67 years. Are you kidding me? All right. So let's get into uh, let's get into those test results. And I am here with the um, with a couple different ways of testing water. And I'm going to be doing a little side-by-side -side comparison of the um, the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. It's a kit I picked up on eBay for $19. That included shipping, and it expires in 2021. So I think I got a pretty good deal on that. And uh, here are some easy strips uh, that I picked up at uh, a local pet store. And uh, I'm going to see just how they compare in their results and. Uh, and then uh, go from there and I'm going to be testing aquarium water uh, here on the left and I'm going to be testing uh, tap water just to see what I'm dealing with when I'm um, when I'm putting water in the tank I do use a uh, an Aquion hose system where I'm moving tap directly into the tank uh, treating as it comes in by adding uh, both Malawi uh, Lake Salt and also uh, Safe or Prime. You can see the two bottles back here. 
I add these as I'm adding water from the tap. But I do want to know where that tap water is at before it gets to, to the uh, aquarium. It's a good thing to know, especially when I've heard reports recently that in some cities they've uh, had out, uh, they've had uh, accidental spills of chloramine, chlor uh, chlor chlorine, and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, so let's see where uh, the tap water stands, and let's see how these two uh, how these two methods compare in their test results. Like with anything uh, invo involving measurements and science, you have to really make sure you, you, you follow the instructions exactly. And both of these uh, types of uh, test strips, both the one that measures the uh, hardness and the pH, chlorine, and that kind of thing, uh, these are very different from, um, from how you would, you would use these. They're used very differently. This, uh, the, the general test, this one here, you dip, you dip in the water for like a second, and uh, you dip in the water for one second, and you don't, you, you don't shake the water off of it. You just set it down level for 30 seconds, and then take your reading. And um, that's very different from this one here, the, uh, the, the ammonia measurement, where you, you, uh, you move it around the water for 10 seconds, shake the water off and do your uh, reading immediately. So very different way of, uh, of uh, reading these strips. So be sure to read the instructions carefully before you use any of these tests. So let's go ahead and start by looking at the uh, test strip results. And uh, the test strips uh, come with a, a comparison chart that you can access by peeling back the label on the test strips. And um, you can see it here. And here's the tank uh, results. And as you can see, it puts my uh, nitrates right around uh, right around 20 or so, just around 20, maybe just a little over 20 on nitrates in the tank between 20 and 40, um, which isn't that alarming, really. And um, everything else tests out perfectly. I mean, zero nitrates, zero chlorine, uh, very hard. Uh, KH is uh, is not bad. Is medium, moderate, a little bit above moderate. Um, and pH tests out about seven points, seven point six. So this would not be really that that bad of a test um, overall. I mean, nitrates I'd probably prefer them around twenty. But you know, sitting at around around 40 uh, isn't going to alarm me too much. So um, this this is actually not a bad test result. pH is good, hardness uh, good. You know, you've got uh, uh, chlorine at zero, nitrites at zero. Now <clears throat> let's take a look at some of the tap tests. Um, the tap. The tap tests uh, even better, you know, closer to uh, maybe 10, uh, certainly a little bit below 20 on the on the nitrates. Um, you know, zero nitrites, uh, very hard, no chlorine. Um, you know, uh, ideal hardness there and pH at about. You know, up in the high range, about seven six or so. So, uh, coming right out of the tap, you could almost go right out of the tap and into the tank, according to these test results. Of course, I wouldn't do that. You never know what the city's going to do with, with its water. Um, so you'd always throw a little prime in there. Um, here's the uh, tank result on ammonia, and the ammonia is right in the safe zone, as you can see. And uh, according to the strips, we're right in the safe zone. For the tank. <clears throat> now we um, let's take a look at what the ammonia is out of the tap. It would certainly be alarming if we had a high ammonia level coming out of the tap. That would mean something is very wrong. But uh, but the ammonia levels coming out of the tap also are testing out uh, normal. So the water quality uh, out here in uh, from the tap is very very good for for African cichlids. And uh, both, according to the strips, both the tank and the tap are okay. 
Now let's take a look at the uh, API tests, um, master test kit, and this one is for the tank. And I use the upper level uh, pH, and um, because it was pretty, it was too dark um, off the bottom of the chart, so I went to the upper level pH test, and it's showing me a pH of about eight on the API master test kit. So the API, so the pH is testing higher with the API master test kit, or telling me I've got a higher pH than I would think. Ammonia is non-existent in the tank, and that's a good thing. And uh, again, that would be kind of alarming. Ammonia can be pretty deadly. Um, you'll, you'll see a high ammonia, and certainly in, an, an, in a tank that isn't cycled. But uh, here it's zero. Non-existent, a non-issue. And that's a good result. Uh, nitrites. Again, nitrites, uh, the API master test kit is telling me zero. So my nitrites are under very, very good control. And uh, so that's also a very positive test uh, coming from the tank. Uh, this one here is actually, if you're seeing this in person, the picture doesn't really do it justice. It's actually a, uh, it's around between 40 and 80 parts which uh, per million, which for me is a little bit high on nitrates. And that just tells me I have to do a uh, perhaps a, a deeper vacuuming get some of the uh, junk out of there and for some reason here's the nitrite again at zero <clears throat> so let's look at these uh, strip tests again here we are here we have the tank strip test results and again the tank strip test results are um, are not that alarming. They're putting me at just around, just over 40, which is uh, just above what would be maximum acceptable, whereas the API Master Kit was putting me at uh, around 80. And so uh, that, that's a big difference. So with the API Master Test Kit, I would definitely move into action, whereas with the uh, strips, I, I might not see the, the urgency that, that actually exists in the tank and that that could be a little bit dangerous so um, assuming that the API test uh, master test kit is, is, is accurate or correct uh, what that means is that um, uh, I would uh, be moved into action by using the master test kit as opposed to the strips which seem to show everything okay from pH up to nitrates in an okay I mean in perfect range for most things, but uh, certainly um, not in a dangerous range on that nitrates. Looking at the tap test with the uh, with the strip, the tap test again shows that my nitrates are below 20. Nitrites are perfect. Water hardness, you know your KH and your uh, you know your hardness and your and your pH are all very very good. Um, all within ranges, all at good, all at ranges that are good for uh, cichlids, seven six pH. So the tap with the test strips it tells me that when I do large water changes, uh, there isn't going to be a tremendous um, um, a tremendous shock. Like I'm not going to be putting um, you know water that is uh, pH six into the tank. It's still a pretty high pH water. And of course, it tells me that the uh, ammonia is a, currently a non-issue in both uh, in both the tank and uh, and out of the tap. In both cases, uh, as you can see here, the ammonia levels for both the tank and the tap. And as I mentioned earlier, high ammonia coming out of your tap is, is <laughs> would be a very bad thing. You never want to see that. But um, in this case, um, we're getting really, ex you know, really, really good water quality right out of the tap out here where I live. I'm in an out in a city that's uh, outside of uh, Los Angeles. We're not getting Department of Water and Power, LA Department of Water and Power water. <clears throat> so uh, I think the quality here is pretty good. Now the master kit shows that the uh, 
it looks like the uh, nitrates are um, again around around 20 uh, nitrites non-existent coming out of the tap you see nitrate levels are, are, are uh, nitrite levels are very good coming out of the tap um, ammonia non-existent according to the API master test kit ammonia is not an issue coming out of the tap and that's a good thing and um, the pH is right at the bottom of the chart at uh, 7 6 uh, coming out of the tap I might even be able to test the uh, tap water with the higher pH test see what that yields but it's coming in at, at, at the very top so um, you know with this conclusion you know with this with doing these side-by-side -side tests I think I'd conclude that that the API master test kit is a better idea because what it does is is it actually in my case is going to spur me into action to take action to reduce uh, nitrates um, as uh, as uh, Evan refers to him IFG inquisitive fish guy he calls him the silent killer I believe it was him that referred to him as silent killer so um, definitely want to jump on nitrates before they have a chance to get into a high zone into a high area so uh, the APA master test kit is telling me that I need to take a look at that and uh, and that actually is very very valuable for any fish keeper so that being said I would certainly recommend the API master test kit so um, that's pretty much all I have for you tonight again I'd like to say uh, goodbye to Vin Scully we're gonna miss you and uh, well done to the Dodgers for sewing up the National League West uh, what a st storybook ending to uh, Vin Scully's career and uh, thank, thank you all of you for uh, watching this video. Be sure to comment, uh, share, and uh, you know I respond to your comments. And uh, definitely uh, uh, rate. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, very well done to the Los Angeles Dodgers. All righty. Thank you so much.